Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenrov here. I know that I mostly do gameplay, memes sometimes, but I thought it'd be cool to check out some of the MTG subreddits because there are quite a few, and this one in particular is my favorite. This is MTCJ or Magic the Circle Jerking, and it's exactly as awesome as you think, so let's jump right on into it. My MTG Arena pulls from the recent Free Mythics code were pretty nice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I, this is this is neat. Having played all three of these games, now I, I get Foil Charizard, base set Foil Charizard. That's worth some money. Black Lotus, that's worth some money. That's not even an OG Blue Eyes White Dragon though. <laughs> Jeez, Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition or bust. Come on, come on. A worse Lanowar Elves. Yay! Woodland Mystic. This is worthless! <laughs> Whoa, this is worthless. Yeah, um, well, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. New Hammer Meta in Modern. Opponent, did you just kill me with a turn 2 Glistener Elf plus Colossus Hammer? Me? <laughs> Shoutouts to MC Hammer. Yeah, yeah, it's Hammer time. I, that's something I ought to try out. A T1 Glistener Elf, after all. Stop focusing me, this is a new game. <laughs> Salt Blast, you know it's gonna be good. Sorcery, destroy target player you hate. <laughs> it's just a game, don't be mad. <laughs> it's just a game, you don't have to be mad. It's something like that. MTG Canopy Lands, upvote this so that people see it when they Google MTG Canopy Lands. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, so this is something that the subreddit does every now and then. They'll take just whatever and then try to upvote it so much that it actually get, replaces what it's supposed to be in Google search results. I love it. I tried cooking spaghetti and meatballs for the first time today. Be nice. Oh! That, would, that actually took me a second to see. <laughs> the arms were the giveaway. Oh. Wow, uh, <laughs> so Kiki Jiki can't copy himself. This, this, this is wrong. This is a flavor fa- Ah, uh, that's not, <laughs> whatever. We're moving on. This is, this is great. Does anyone else regenerate though? When your opponent who's playing an Azuri Renegade Leader deck is going off and Wrath of God is in your hand. Parry this, you filthy casual. <laughs> okay, as a Dark Souls fan, yeah! <laughs> what is what is this even? Pack one, pick one, Super Smash Bros. Melee Edition. Alright, so confession time. This one's on me. I did this one. Uh, I saw someone on Twitter put a pack one, pick one, Smash Edition. Like, big stuff. And I decided to make it a Melee reference. So, here we are. Also, uh, shoutouts to Mewtwo King. <laughs> If you actually recognize what these cards are, which one would you pack one, pick one? I have mine. I don't want to say right now because I don't want to give it away. I don't want to influence everyone else's, but it's not just because I play those characters. I'm not going to pick one just because I play those characters. <coughs> Puff. <coughs> Fox. <coughs> Beach. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hogok is your new modern overlord. <laughs> Nikachu news. All right, so... Uh, it's good to see that I'm not the only MTG YouTuber who posts on here every now and then. <laughs> he starts off his video with, Modern is... <laughs> this was tormenting me for so long, so I've been trying to figure out what the art on Old Ulamog reminds me of for over a month, and I finally figured out that my brain has been connecting it to this three second shot from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I... I see the uh, the thriller dance, and some of the people in the comments for this one have some other ideas. It, it's not a dab. I, I don't know what it is, but it's not a dab. Maybe the, it's like the lead into a dab. Rip in peace. Me. The number of graveyard decks in modern is insane right now. Friends. Just play Wait, why did I do- <laughs> My friend got my voice, and I got some weird voice. Whatever. Just play graveyard hate in your main deck. Also me. Nah, I don't really feel like it. Oh, oh, uh, but by the way, two things. One, uh, SpongeBob voice. I like doing that. Secondly, uh, <laughs> you take a, a scene like this and then you add your Twitch. I don't, I don't actually know who you are, but I hope someone follows you because of this. Winding clock. 
winding clock. Tap all oh. <laughs> tap all artifacts you control during each other plays on tap step. <laughs> Fair and balanced. Yu-Gi-Oh players talking about their card game staples. Yu-Gi-Oh players be like, think about it. The card is like five, six, seven. Do Wait, what? This is Simo. How do I do Simo's voice? Uh, can you imagine how much the price will go down after this reprint? Me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel you on that one. That, that hurts, man. That, <laughs> that hurts. After I had to sell my collection buying back in, oh, that hurts. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. My hand. <laughs> Your turn, opponent. Well, oh, wait, wait, a bunch of stuff first. A considerable amount of 1-1 tokens, my four Delvers, 147 Elves, fairies for extra damage, Pestilence! Sometimes nausea, sometimes electricery. Yeah, that's that's popper for you. <laughs> that's... <laughs> it can confirm. As a Glistener Elf player, can confirm. Does anyone else new EDH combo? Okay, so let's see if we can figure this one out. It's twin cast, so copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, spy kit, equip creature gets plus one plus one and has all names of non-legendary creature cards in addition to its name. Uh, okay, Protean Raider, I, Peripheral Vision, I see the young Pyromancer there. Protean Raider, if you attacked with a creature this turn, you may have Protean Raider enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Okay, so Twin Cast is the only instant or sorcery in this, so... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Look at the flavor text. Imitation is the most dangerous form of flattery. Imitation is the, is the sincerest form of tre treachery. Imitation is the sincerest form of piracy. Immolation is the sincerest form of flattery. Okay, one of these things is not like the other. It's immolation for pyromancer. That's whatever. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, and they're all in color, so I guess it could be an EDH thing. New leaked mechanic for the next set. Any idea what this may mean? <laughs> Coconut mana. Yeah! <laughs> I, 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 superfoods should be banned in modern. Just, just saying. Lands are fine. What gives people feelings of power? Money? Status, a good mana curve. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree, I agree. Does this card make Merfolk Tier 1 again? Friendship ended with Curse Catcher. The enemy's spyglass can see him. Brian Born Cutthroat is my new fish friend. I always attack from where the spyglasses can't see. <laughs> uh, that's, can't argue with that, I guess. <laughs> the book killed my boy. Gideon dies. Everyone in the gate watch that were in equally life-threatening situations just moments ago. <gasps> okay, so this is like the Planeswalker equivalent of the Pikachu surprise face, I guess? I dig it. M20. Burger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this one's, this one's just, a, just a burger with a little M20 logo on it. I guess it's flavorful. Oh, no. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Stop. Stop! I need to stop! <laughs> the Hammer of Justice is unisex. That's it! I'm getting me Mallet! Mallet acquired! <laughs> okay, Eustace. <laughs> what, what's his, uh, what's his name? His wife's name again? Uh, not Marda. Uh, Muriel! That's it! Muriel! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Modern IRL. Why is it when something happens, it is always you two? Believe me, Professor, I've been making, asking myself the same question for six years. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Grape shot. I'll book this so that people see it when they Google grape shot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I love this subreddit sometimes. Much like any parasitic corporate entity, the Phyrexian strategy, this is going to be great, I know, for conquering our plane seizes opportunity in clever yet subtle marketing strategies. I left my gummy bears in a hot car. When I returned, they melted into a sugary quagmire. Their individual essence dissolved into nothingness, reformed by the void into a singular consciousness. No separate beings, nor flavors. Just one manifestation of formless, eternal gummy. 
Certified Compliad. <laughs> Approved by Ellis Nornels. <laughs> God bless. Alright. Band in Modern Alignment Chart. Dear God, where are the pixels? Someone save the pixels here. Okay, so I'm assuming some of you aren't going to know these cards, so I'll say. Lawful Good is Stoneforge Mystic. Neutral Good is Splinter Twin. Chaotic Good is Glimpse of Nature. <laughs> Lawful Neutral is Birthing Pod. True Neutral is Preordain. Chaotic Neutral is Dark Depths. Lawful Evil is Punishing Fire. Can confirm. Neutral Evil is Green Sun Zenith. What? And then Chaotic Evil is Skull Clamp. Yep. Okay, so that seems pretty right. Uh, leave a comment. Which one are you? Which which one might be you? Just just maybe. Um, I'm gonna go if it's just on the card and not the actual alignment. I'm gonna go preordain. Otherwise, I gotta stay with my girl Stoneforge Mystic. Also, T1 Stoneforge Mystic would get on to me if I didn't say Stoneforge Mystic. So yeah, we're gonna be lawful good for this one. And that's it. If you'd like to see me do more of these, let me know in the comments, and if you have a subreddit you'd like me to visit, let me know. DM me on Twitter or put it in the comments here. Give that video a like, and I will see you all later. Take care, Magic Community. Bye-bye!